said it before and I say it again. I am not satisfied with the way in which we treat the elderly in our society, generally speaking. We must not, as a society, reach the stage where we believe. As soon as we reach age 65, we must be placed in the institution. That is not the thought of this Democratic Party administration, and we will do everything possible to ensure that elderly folks are able to enjoy their golden years in comfort and in safety and security. Another area of great concern to us is the area of substance abuse. All of us know fully well the many challenges we have with, with um, illegal drugs and other substance abuse in this society. And thus far in the last year, we have worked successfully on banning the sale of cigarettes to minors. And we are working with face to get towards the stage of uh, smoking in public places as well. But within the ministry, we are also restructuring a substance, social, uh, substance abuse program that are aimed at making better and timely um, interventions. We operate on the view that every young soul that we lose to illegal drugs in Barbados is the son or the daughter of someone, someone who has potential. And we will not leave anyone behind as a government. One of the other issues we've been working on is restructuring the relationships with non governmental organizations. Because it's a firm belief that NGOs have an important role to play in helping us deliver on our goals in the public health care system. And in such, the Ministry of Health will continue to identify ways of working closely with them. But let me say that there are also some NGOs who seem to operate on the premise that the government is there to always give them a large subvention. I want to send a, a word of caution that those days are numbered. As a responsible ministry, and we have to ensure that we get value for dollars, and the days of just writing the check and sending it to NGO or some level of accountability are 